Welcome ladies to Trink Lifestyle, a platform for us to celebrate ourselves, our achievements and to share our life journeys. And I'm so, so proud for African Women CAs to celebrate 20 years of taking matters into our own hands and building each other. And I like the hashtag <laughs> lift as we rise. Exactly. And now we are, we moved on to mastery. What, what moving friend? to mastery. Moving to mastery. Dream the deliver. Yes. Dream. So says the current president of <laughs> NIEA. Exactly. So please tell us about 20 years on. What, what is, what, what have we achieved and what's, what's still to be done? Sure. You know, you think that 20 years later, this organization needs to be closed. We need to start another one. <laughs> Because now the look outside of the millennials, now generation Z is coming in. But actually the work that was started two thousand and two, we still continue with it because the pipeline is still a very critical point for us to make sure we still continue to increase the number of CAs. Unfortunately in the last three years we saw a very serious deterioration in the number of uh, black female trail accountants. And that is by virtue of the change in testing and how they now test the board exams and all of that, which is good because it's important to understand that as you grow and also as years go by, change is important. Yes. So we actually are going back to what obviously Cindy started to say, because we've had this deterioration in the number of CAs, especially for female, what still needs to be done? It might not be the exact issues that they had, but the reality is that the path that still needs to be improved. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of successes. Yeah. You know, the number has increased significantly, and we take into account that the site does now listen and understands that AWCA's participation is very important to be able for them to even achieve their own goals and at least achieve AWCA's goals and the vision that we have in mind to ensure that we accelerate that achievement of CAs, especially those aspiring ones mm. coming from Kalini, Transkai, Limbombo, uh, KZN, and anyway, we want to make sure that they know that they've got the space that they can call home. You know, indeed, we just came together trying to understand where are the other, you know, young black women CAs, because at a time, at the turn of democracy, our government was really looking for talent and we needed to find women CAs who were being needed by boards. So we found there was this small pool of women and we realized that we actually needed to coordinate and find one another and have a database. But even before we could do that, Moms and Eden Baby had challenged us wanting to find some young women CAs to go to Parliament for a budget speech and to be hosted by uh, the Speaker of Parliament then, uh, Dr. Felix Dunwala. Mm. We realized it was important that we just knew one another and just came together. And soon we realized that actually this pool was very small. Very small. Yeah. We needed to work on it and cultivate it. How many were there at the time? You know what, by the time we launched Foreman in 2002, there were 407. Seven. But before then, because the, 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 the thought came, you know, earlier, I think a year or two before. Mm. Um, and I can tell you, before then, they were quite much, you know, smaller than the 407, right? Mm. I mean, um, the fund, Jasmine, what, how, how hard was it to raise the funding, the deals that you've done? It takes a while and Cindy and I have worked as a team. Um, fortunately, we've been working together 14 years uh, with AIH. And so uh, building the fund, while it's a new fund, we've, we've had successes in AIH and we've worked together as a team. And it took us a year and a half to uh, get to now committed capital of 400 million rand from three investors. And we, we're still busy fundraising, but the 400 million our committed Close capital, the fund one. Yes, enables us to do deals and we're very proud that we've announced our first deal in Future Group, which is a leading South African asset manager and a responsible asset manager. Mm. Wow, well, this is wonderful. And it's onwards and upwards. I mean, to think we started with putting our own money. Remember, we struggled yes. to get funding yes. and we had to put our 10,000 rand, 60 of us, convince you know, the market. Karabo, that is when I say that some knows 
are yeses in yes. our lives. Mm. Because that adverse response, we do have fundraising from institutions, and they were no longer funding investment holdings, um, and, and but you must go and find an asset for them to, to fund. Yes. We were actually going for it, and we had to fund it ourselves, as mm. you say. Mm. But you know what that meant? We kept the 100% black women owned. Yes. So we didn't have an institution in our shareholding. It meant that we were pure, 100% black women owned. Yeah. And know. can I tell you the story? I don't know if you remember. <laughs> I had just given birth to Avu. <laughs> and I was still running AIH. And we had a board meeting. So they came to my house. Oh, and we sat around the, the dinner the table. table. <laughs> I'm breastfeeding. <laughs> And you know, being my sisters, they had gifts for the baby, oh, who's and yeah. us, gushed over the little man, and then we start the business. Yeah. You know, for me, that, that, that is, that's what women are about, yeah. right? We're not trying to give up our womanhood. Yes. Not at all. At I mean, the expense of that's business. That's a touch that is not lost. I was yes. seeing pictures of them as they were planning for this 20th anniversary. In the wee hours of the evening, you know, resting in somebody's couch, I don't know whose home they were preparing for today. Yeah. The whole board of AWCA, mm -hmm. you know, where we will work with one another and be in the space to make something work. Yeah. She can tell you the issue about her being in Geneva yes. as a board member. Remember, we yes. as a board member were sitting in Geneva. <laughs> Remind us about that. Yes, yes. So, and I found um, <laughs> AIA as a board was so supportive of in Christmas when I, I, I went to Harvard and it was two years out of the country and I said I'm going to step down and he was put it no, don't step down, take a leave of absence. Then yeah. I came back and I was going to Geneva for four years to work at the World Economic Forum and I felt, you know, I'm letting the team down, I should step down and he said, no, we will work mm. around you as, as you said, the board was working around you and said, yes. we'll have meetings when you're in the country and it actually worked because I traveled here so much in my role as head of business for Africa that I was in the country often enough and I made most of the meetings mm. during those yes. years. So th thank yeah. you. You know, speaking of, of, of that, I mean, Jasmine, you are involved with, you wrote a book about um, your upbringing and, and your experiences with discrimination and now you're working on an inclusivity, uh, diversity um, course. course. Yes. Please tell us about that. Yes. Just so I don't say the wrong thing. <laughs> so I wrote the book on, on racial reconciliation, um, starting with my experience growing up in apartheid in a marginalized community. And then I widened it uh, and interviewed people around the world, spanning from Rwanda to America to Nepal, where other countries have all experienced issues of oppression. And in, in my story, AIH is very much part of my story. So various of our board members, including Cindy, have, have given quotes on, on how we've all had to overcome um, obstacles going the accounting route. And, I, and it felt natural building on the message of the book to now launch my online course on the Udemy platform dealing with the heart of race and gender inequality in workplace and to our AIH portfolio companies and our private equity portfolio companies we're making that course available to wow. start. And you know it's so, I mean being involved in a lot of companies you realize that part of, of this unconscious bias is because people don't know each other yeah. you know genders don't know each other races don't know each other so I think it's very important work that you do thank you mm -hmm. and I like uh, Cindy's speech of the keynote address from Cindy last night and she ended off her last point was on we need organizations to build uh, diversity and inclusion yeah. and I hope this course is one of the tangible tools that people uh, HR practitioners corporates and individuals can do the course and that it will equip them around uh, better navigating constructive dialogue, better um, building authentic relationships in the workplace so that people can come together in organizations and be able to um, have a proper impact. So where do we find your book? Where do we find the, the tool? My Take book it? is on um, Amazon and you can also get it on Take A Lot and at exclusive bookstores and it's an e-book on Kindle and then the course is on the, the Udemy Mm. And the support from the men in our lives, men in the room, yes. men in, in business. Mm -hmm. I actually, you know this thing when you've been speaking and you always go back and say, oh my goodness, I forgot to say something. 
I for God to acknowledge my husband. Noisy at the early days of AWCA oh, used to be laughed at and be called a, 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 a board member. <laughs> Rosie. He was there. Oh, no, I could tell the story. Oh my ah. goodness. Yes. So last night, that is the one part where I went to bed and I felt, oh. <laughs> Actually, this is the one thing I think out of, of that message to put was because he did that, our husband saw as well. Yeah. Tina is the members, they you know, them. becoming subcommittee members yes. and becoming ADAPC, yes. ADAPCA board members. They are, our husbands they realized that, oh, okay, we're seeing Lwanzi coming, so we should do the same. That's yeah. why we, now we've changed the term for our hubs and partners, we call them emotional stakeholders. Oh, <laughs> I, I heard in your speech, <laughs> but you thank your emotional stakeholders. Because at the end of the day, I mean, for me to leave my house at 6 o'clock because now I have to attend a meeting, these people need to sit and make sure the kids are well fed, they've done homework and everything, and you come back at midnight, they're all sleeping. But in the morning, you know everything was taken care of. So that, that support is very important. No, so not. he definitely led very well for, for the coming. Let's talk about the other Cindy, Cindy uh, <laughs> Zilwa, yeah. who you said was very instrumental to your knowledge or even um, knowing about, knowing the, profession. about the profession. Yes. Actually, I don't even think she knows the story. Yeah. So, you tell her. <laughs> <laughs> this is the platform. Um, so, I come from Mutata in the Transdive and I went to a junior secondary school called Zimele uh, in Mutata and she also um, went there and came to, what, what do you guys call it now when companies come? Career guidance. Mm. When she spoke about it, I want to tell my dad, I said, Dad, there's this thing called Chalada Community. Yes. And this lady came to speak at our school. And that's how my journey started. As they say, um, the rest is history. You know, I remain forever indebted to Philip Kokabi mm. and yes. his wife. Mm. Because, I mean, that he was my sponsor at a very difficult time in my career. Mm, yeah. Because I can tell you when I look at the pillars that I had to hold on to to stand up again, you know, at that point in time, Philip was actually the main pillar mm. I had to lean on. And 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 I'll forever be grateful. Mm. Yeah, look, I'm wearing this hat. Yes. Because I'm so proud of this company. Mm. And the logo, hello, mm. who came up with the who logo? Came up with <laughs> the stood by that. Mm. It was always very important. It was always very important when you step out, you're not just stepping out on your own. You got this village that mm. you have become. Yeah. And so for me, really the next five months are about us. We have to close this fund, yes. Jasmine. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Guys, well, well, it's recorded, you know that. <laughs> so we will hold we accountable. I mean, we've raised 400 million. That is not our target. Um, our target is between 500 and 800 uh, million. We will close it. We have to close it. We yes. do. Oh, yes, yes to to close it. Yes, to that. Come yes. on, the commitment. <laughs> Ladies, you know, we've had so much influence in our lives, and we, we I don't know how much we, or how often we look back and we say, these are the people that made it, or at least played an in a role, you know, mm. had an impact. So for me, the tribute is to my husband and my children mm. who support me as who I am. They know, they call me cuckoo sometimes <laughs> because I know that 
for us ladies to have achieved what we have, we've had to be hard on ourselves. But it means even those around us end up getting there. Yes. <laughs> this is the front of the front yeah. of it. And it's nice when they get to a point where they know, oh, there she is. Okay, let's give her space. Yeah. And I, I'm really grateful for oh, that. Yeah. Jess? Um, I'm grateful to my parents for the, the sacrifices they've made for me and um, my dad didn't get to high school, my mum didn't get to complete high school, and my twin sister and I and my brother, we, we've all um, been to high school and, and they made, they suffered so that, that we could do better and, and that they raised me in the community of Westbury, a very marginalised and humble community and I'm so thankful we had an earlier discussion on going back to grassroots and on Women's Day I'm doing a keynote address in that community and, and it really touches me because I can do a keynote address in corporate but I'm speaking to people on what they must do for inclusion. Yeah, I'm speaking to the unemployed, I'm yeah. speaking to the people who really need help. And, um, yeah. and I'm proud that I'm, pr I'm from that community. I'm not ashamed that community shaped me and they are good people there. Yes. And, and it's, it's up to us to create opportunities for those people. And in there is a booth eh? <laughs> that you will yes. inspire, yes. Oh, that you, you would yes. change the tra trajectory. I struggle okay, with I trajectory <laughs> <laughs> of her life. Yes. Yeah. You know, we, we yeah. underestimate the impact we have just by being yeah. you know, and sharing us uh, part of ourselves. Mm. Okay. Sure. Yeah, there are, I tried here yeah, uh, last night. Yes. Uh, mm. uh, you know, with my parents are so big, uh, being, being there and sharing the moment with us with last night was amazing for me. It's, Ladies, uh, thank you very oh, much for today. Oh. This, this has been a very inspiring you know, session, yeah. and I'm very proud to be part of this community, this sisterhood, um, and, and I wish you all of the best in your individual endeavors with AWCA, with AIH, raise the money, <laughs> find the deal, <laughs> make <laughs> us money. If <laughs> 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 you share, you both share. We share all this, we, we need returns. <laughs> Here's to Clink. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>